Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Fox's Best Laid Plans, the Wednesday planner channel, but just Wednesdays on a Wednesday. Why can I not plan earlier than Wednesday? Why? I think I understand why, partially, because Wednesday mornings, I always have, like, the space to myself, whereas, like... Monday morning husband was up early for some kind of work meeting and so like he was in the background not that he ever like you know bothers me but <laughs> I feel weird like talking to my camera while he's in the background so anyway here we are on a Wednesday planning again just we're gonna get there I made this really cool sheet planning out my content stuff because I'm working on my HB 90 and I'm feeling like a baller hi welcome welcome back to my channel so, was this last week? No, I'm a week off. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Millie Vanilli, that was two weeks ago. Okay, here was last week. There we go. <laughs> and now we're, I did have two cups of coffee despite how well my brain is functioning. I did. All right, so this was last week. If you remember from last week, it was very exciting because I hit my writing goal on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, I booked my little Palm Springs writing retreat for September. So no pressure. Now I just have to finish the book by July on my quarter two plans so this is how I finished last week I feel like I'm like I have a theme like everything I usually like bright color well this is bright I guess it's bright green I feel like my my color scheme this year is less less bright than it normally is but you know what I'm doing my planner every week and that's what counts so I thought I was going to have to do a quarterly refresh this week and I was like not emotionally ready <laughs> But it turns out we have one more week. So today we are planning the week of Monday, March 25th through Sunday, March 30th in my Moxie Life Planner. Today is Wednesday, the 27th. It's another one of those months where it ends on a Sunday and the new month begins on a Monday. Like quarter one and quarter two this year, like both starting on a Monday. This is just, I'm meant to succeed. The universe for once is setting me up for success. Is it though? Is it though? Because you know what, right now, we had a full moon in Libra on Monday, and then there was some kind of like little lunar eclipse, and now Mercury goes retrograde on this coming Monday on the 1st, and then the eclipse is on the 8th, and the eclipse is like something to do with Aries, and I'm a Libra sun with an Aries rising, and so like they were like, Libra and Aries better watch out, stay away from those people, they're going to be in crappy moods, and I was like, thanks, thanks universe. So we're using a kit from Coconut Girl Studio. If you remember, I bought one of these kits. I forget what it was, for, which one it was, and I loved it so much. Oh, it was that winter one. It was like up here back in January. Was it in January? How can I remember this? Not that one. Not that one. Maybe it was February. Ooh. Yeah, it was this. I think. Yeah, got this in February. Or yeah, I used it for the first week of February, last week of January. That's right. And I loved it so much. I like hung up this call. Hung up this call. It's not a phone call. And I immediately. I immediately went to her Etsy shop and bought more because <laughs> I just was like so in love with the kit. So we're using some Simply Gilded here. Washi tape that I got from this. Simply Gilded did a like mystery box. It was like $400 worth of washi tape for 70 bucks or something like that. <laughs> so uh, I took advantage of that. Like I needed more washi tape, but in honesty, I kind of like now that I redid my washi tape, I actually have room for more washi tape. I want to just like shout out to myself, <laughs> not to be like weird, but I'm proud of myself that I have been maintaining the tidying and decluttering that I have done. I have been doing a good job of maintaining it and I'm proud of myself because that's not always like me. I am like notorious for doing the cleaning and then just letting it go absolute to shit shortly thereafter oh my god this goes on like butter like i wish that you could feel this washi tape through the camera oh my god it just rolled out like it was like i don't even know like it was the butter queen of saint olaf that's what it was like it was amazing okay sorry <laughs> distracted but i'm i am proud oh my god i can't get this off it is stuck okay there we go I am proud of myself for really doing a good job of sticking to stuff and like that's not always like me and I think I'm doing better I think because I'm like starting to understand my brain and also HB90 is like literally 
the greatest thing since the Butter Queen of St. Olaf. It's just, it's really helping me. And what's cool is that like, I'm, you know, I'm working on quarter two now. This goes this way. You have the glitter at the top, right? Yeah. It's a little like tie-dyed pastel here. I'm working on quarter two now and I'm able to like look at what happened in quarter one and worked and didn't work. So for example, one of the big things that did work was my YouTube schedule. So I, when I made my Kanban board in Notion, I did a digital one, which I've, if you've seen any other parts of this channel, you've probably seen it by now. But I did a digital Kanban board on Notion and it really, really helped me to break it down. I just put this. There's like, so the bottoms are scalloped, so I was like, oh, where do I wanna put the bottom? There we go. It really, really helped me to have each week the three steps. So for like plan with me, the three steps are choose the kit, film the plan with me, edit the plan, actually four steps. Choose the kit, film the plan with me, edit the plan with me, and then do the, when I post it, I have to do the thumbnail description, all of that. And that takes me longer than I think it should, but I just, all right, so this does not have numbers. So I have to write the numbers in. I already lost my pens. I found them. So I really broke it down for each week. Like I put in there all four steps of the plan with me each week. And then the vlog I put in each week, edit vlog, post vlog. Like I didn't put in anything for filming that because it's kind of like I film it on the fly while I'm, you know, thinking of things during the week. But I putting that all in there and really having those steps made me stick to it because it was like, oh, every time I check it off, then it tells me like on my notion, you're a little bit closer to your 100%. So I still have a couple more things that I'm finishing up this plan with me being one of them. And then the weekly vlog that'll go up probably Friday or Saturday. Those being two more things I have to do. But as of right now, with like four days, what, 27, 28, 29, 30, let's say four or five days left in the quarter, I'm at 75% of my goals that I set out for myself. Do you understand like how amazing that is for somebody with ADHD who is very good at making plans and very not good at sticking to them and following through? I felt like, I don't know, I am so proud of myself. And that's one thing that I love about the digital, um, about the digital Kanban board because every time I update it, so I don't have, you know what a Kanban board is? It's like you have all of your tasks that you have to do in that you know quarter project or whatever. And then you have them all in the, like the to-do side on little sticky notes. And then as you do each one, you move it either to the in progress or the complete. And then the idea is it's a visual to show you that you were getting closer to, oh, it's Good Friday, that's right. It's a, supposed to be a visual that you are getting closer and closer to your, your goals. And so as you move more over, then you're like, oh, okay. The thought of like finding wall space for that and like having the sticky notes that at the end I'm just gonna, I guess, throw out or whatever was like kind of stressful to me for some reason. So I ended up doing the digital Kanban board on Notion. And every time that you do something, what was my color scheme? How did I do? Pink, blue, gray. Pink. Every time that you would do something on there, it would it adds up your total of how many are complete. Like you, you do a check mark. And that was like huge. Every time I did, I was like, oh my God. And then I could see if I was on track or not. And like, there were things that I didn't do that I got moved to, you know, that I moved into the second quarter that I didn't finish. But it was so motivational to see that I was making progress. Like it was super awesome. So I'm very happy with how that went and I will, continue that. So anyway, so I'm like super happy with my HB90. I really think it has made a huge difference to my, my life and my planning and my time management and my stress and anxiety. <laughs> like all of those things were, were positively affected by this. But one of the things that I figured out is that like in my third goal, I made three goals and the third one was about creative work. So like writing, scrapbooking, my bullet journal, all those things. 
and I didn't put like that was the one I was probably the least concrete about like I said with the YouTube one I was like there are four steps each week that I do for planner plan with me three steps that I do each week for vlog like I I'm trying to make sure I don't like double up colors in a row here I was really really detailed with my decluttering which is my first goal and my YouTube posting, which was my second goal. The third goal, I was just kind of like, yeah, not so much as not not as intense. And I really, I, I noticed that that was the one that was easiest. To, that was the one I did the least on. Like I made the least progress on that. That was the one that was easiest to be like, nah, it's fine. I don't need to do that one. But I do need to do that one. I need to do all the ones because all of the ones are important. So that's what I'm going to be like working on for quarter two is really trying to set more specific and granular goals for that. So that's what I'm, that's my HB90 update. I'm really, I was working on it before I started filming this. So I'm like in the headspace and like, if I didn't have to get this done today and I wasn't going straight to work, I probably would have been like, let's just keep working on it. So, oh look, that says Easter too. Oh, but I put that one there and I could have used this bunny. So these people, oh, here we go been a couple weeks since I tried to peel something off and stressed about it so yay that worked okay <laughs> I might use that sticker somewhere else I'm probably gonna I don't want to use this one here yeah Easter look at the little bunny oh geez it's oh, oh no <laughs> you gotta pull two up in a row here this section of paper is like Stop doing me dirty. There we go. That's more centered. Well, not really. Whatever. It's beautiful anyway. All right, here's, I have not been, again, every week I'm like, I'm not been keeping up with doing my blood pressure. I don't know why. I was really good at it. My morning routine has been like non-existent. Like, that's just what it is. Not non-existent, but like it's just been unstructured and I have not been keeping up with the things that I want to keep up with on it. So I don't love that for me. All right, we need something for work days. I have four work days because we're closed on Easter. You know what I can use is these little, oops, not that one. These little things here. Oh, maybe. Stick. I'll just put this. Oh, this, I might mess this up. Let's try this. Work nine to seven. But also, before that, hey, the conference call. I was going to use this priority sticker, but like, I mean, it is a priority, but it's like not a priority that I want. <laughs> so we'll just use this, this other sticker here. Okay, conference call. It's actually before work, but I wrote it after because <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Okay, I don't particularly love how this little situation with the flowers looks, but I don't really have any other stickers to use for work, so we'll just go with it. So is everybody getting excited about the eclipse? Because it's coming up in less than two weeks now. Oh, don't, oh, I thought that was gonna tear. We are trying to finalize our last like details. We're going up to Canadagua. I guess that looks okay. I don't love it. Something else about it. Oh, well, we're going up to the Finger Lakes, up to Canadagua, because that is in the path of totality. I think we're only going to get three minutes. So part of me is like, maybe we'll just drive a little bit further west, and then we'll get four minutes. But we're going to be like lakeside and right now it's calling for partly cloudy but that could change and also i think as long as it's not like totally overcast and pouring down rain i think we should be able to see the eclipse <laughs> when we went in 2017 my mom and i went to great smoky mountains national park down in tennessee and it was like i mean bright perfect sun I actually like wanted to look at some of those pictures. I was thinking about it yesterday and I meant to pull up some of those pictures. Let me write the right time on here. Work. 
nine to five. Okay, and then we're closed for Easter, so Sunday is my long run. So that's the nice thing. Is that? Ooh, and we're going to the theater, so I can use one of these little theater stickers. Very exciting. The nice thing is that I can do my long run actually on Sunday, like a real long run and not have to do a cutback week. So I'm training, if you're new here, hello, I'm training for the Fargo Marathon in North Dakota on June 1st. And long run, I have 17 miles this week. So I, it's very hard with my work schedule to get my runs in because on my every other weekend I work, so I have to run like before or after I'm done with work. And usually I choose after because in the morning my legs are just like, no work, Easter, it's exciting. Yay. Boy, my handwriting is not great today. Okay. So the nice thing is that we're closed for Easter, so I can actually do a real long run. And then we're going to see Mamma Mia at the Venom. I'm so excited. And some of these stickers are like... There we go. This red does not really match the rest of the color scheme, but whatever. It's going to be very exciting. And that is at 6.30 p.m. Let me check my calendar here. 6.30. 6.30 p.m. And then we're going to dinner at Eddie Merlot's before that. So I can put in something for that. Very exciting. Very exciting Easter for us here. <laughs> so my mom's coming over. She's, she's going to come to dinner and the show with us. 445 is our reservation. Senior citizen early bird special. Yeah. Okay. I don't really know anything going on Friday and Saturday. Saturday, I think Danielle's supposed to come over and we're going to try to dye Easter eggs. But I'm not 100% sure if she is able to come over. So I'm not going to put anything in there yet. Tonight is dance class. So I can put that in here. Let's see. I'm gonna put, ooh, what's this? Gratitude, okay. I am gonna put a to-do list in for yesterday because I did a lot of to-do listing yesterday. What did I do yesterday? Now that I'm on camera, I'm like, uh, I can't remember what I did. So I'll fill that out later when I can think better. <laughs> I did track Tuesday yesterday also, so let me put something in for that. Oh my God, look at this picture. We had the most incredible sunrise yesterday. It was worth, going to track Tuesday just for that. It was like amazing, so beautiful, so vibrant. I don't love track workouts in the mornings, but my, a.m. My run club is, there's a group meeting Tuesday mornings at 6.30 and that's nice because I went yesterday and got it out of the way and then I was done and I just went to get groceries. Actually, I can write groceries on here with the first thing, groceries. And then I can go to that on my work weeks because I can still get my workout. And then it'll be nice to be like done with my workout at the end of the day. Cause Tuesdays are day seven cause we work seven on seven off. So my Tuesdays of work, that's day seven. And I'm just like a zombie at the end of it. So I, that'll be nice to be able to do that in the morning. And then let's see, do we have a dinner sticker on here somewhere? No, doesn't look like it. Hmm, I can use this. Well, I'll just write in here that we went to the cage. We always go to the cage on Tuesday nights. <laughs> well, not always, but almost always. We always go on Mondays. Man, why am I so bad at writing letter E's? No matter what, they look like garbage. Ah, uh, man, it's been, those seven days off were like nice, but I feel like they just flew by and I did not get everything done that I wanted to get done. So what can you do? Oh, Thursday night, tomorrow night, we're going to, I'm going to put it on here. There is an Edgar Allan Poe pop-up speakeasy. Excuse you. I swear to you, 
across the street they only have one yard and yet something's getting mowed or leaf blown every single day i think we're going to get dinner after that so i'll leave a space below that but well, i'm almost done because y'all don't want to hear that in the background and literally there's a man with a leaf blower and i know there was a man with a leaf blower two days ago because husband and i were complaining about it on monday <laughs> Anyway, how do you spell Edgar Allan Poe? E D. It's A L L A N, right? Not Edgar Snyder. Edgar Snyder, pop pop bar. If you live in Pittsburgh, Edgar Snyder is like the the lawyer here who does all the commercials. You know, there's no fee unless we get money for you. But when I typed Edgar Allan Poe to like see how to spell Allen, I thought it was A L L A N, and I was correct. But I wanted to check it before I wrote it out. It was like, did you meet Edgar Snyder? And I was like, the Edgar Snyder speakeasy would be the most yinzery thing I have ever heard of. Anyway, anyway, I'll watch me accidentally spell it wrong anyway. Po speakeasy. And our tickets are 8 p.m. It's an hour and a half and then we're gonna try to get dinner after. I was gonna try to eat dinner beforehand and then Christy, we're going with Christy. And she was like, I'll need to eat too. So why don't we just go to dinner? And I was like, okay. So I think we found a place that's open late that we can go to. And then the only thing is bad is that I was planning on using one of my HelloFresh meals tomorrow night. So I'm gonna be like two off, I think. So we'll see, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We got it yesterday. No, we get it today and then we don't get it next week. So yeah, that'll be, we'll, we'll make it work. We have. We'll have four tonight, so we'll have one tonight, and then there'll be three left. Okay. I've been doing really well. For a while there, we were, like, not doing well with eating. Like, we were on the four plan, the four meal plan for HelloFresh, and that was, like, kind of hard to... Can I use this one for dance? I guess so. It's a little bit not wide enough, but it's cute. Yeah. change it up a little bit. So we were on the four meal per week plan for HelloFresh and that was hard to keep up with because like we always go to the cage Mondays and Tuesdays and then that left five days to use four meals and there's always a day where like you have something going on or you're going out or you're going dancing or whatever. So I switched us to the three meal per week plan which is a little bit more like each meal goes up at like a dollar a meal or something like that but it is worth it to not be like stressed about using all the meals. I don't know which one Hasman's gonna make tonight, but we're gonna make something when I get home. And then hopefully, we started watching this documentary or docu-series about one of the reform schools. It's called The Program. It's on Netflix. It's really good. It's very oh, intense. It's very intense, but it's very good. So hopefully I'll have enough energy tonight. We can watch one more episode of that. So, okay, that's where I'm gonna end it because these leaf blower lawnmower people are not going away and I know it's going to be distracting on the film so that's pretty good setup for right now like I said I don't know anything that's going on Friday and Saturday yet because hopefully we're going to do our Easter eggs but I don't know and then Friday night we're just going to stay home and cook and then tonight we're going to cook so that's two nights got all of my Easter stuff in here I'll have a little bit of time to do something hopefully after my long run have a little bit of energy left and then I need to fill in. The last couple of days were just like really like I was at my desk a lot. I was doing errands. I was doing, working on HB90 quite a bit. So, which I'm still working on today. I'm getting there. I need to get that all set up this week too. So that's something that I need to like make a specific plan for. I kind of want to move this over now that I'm looking at it. I think it's been on there too long. I don't think it'll peel off. Mm, this is so stressful. No, 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 no. I can feel it. Nope, nope, leave it, leave it. <laughs> I just thought it would be better if this lined up with this over this way, and then I could put something. I can still put something there and just cover up the edge of this flower. It'll be okay. Man, this kid is cute as heck, and I really like how the little tie dye pastel washi tape looks with it, too. So I gotta put it in here somewhere. I need to put in here somewhere that I need to do my quarterly planning also, which I don't, I mean, my quarterly HB90 I'm working on, but like this quarterly compass, I think I am gonna try to film a goal video for how I'm using my Moxie Life. Basically, 
just briefly, I'm using the HB90 for like my goal goals for like more intense goals. And then I'm using my Moxie Life more as like things I need to do. And I'm using it more as like a running to-do list of tasks that are not like directly related to my goals. And I know some people use this as their primary goal planner and not the HB90, but this is working out for me like really well to have both sides of it because the HB90 is for the super big project and breaking it down into smaller steps. And you can use the Moxie Life that way too, but the HB90 seems to work with my brain and my ADHD much better. So this has been really like serving well as a to-do list of all the things that are not part of those three HB90 goals that are coming up. So that I don't forget that I have to do, you know, send something in to, you know, send a bill in, or I have to, I have like, I have work training stuff that I have to do. Like, so I don't forget those things that are not part of like my big goals, but they are things that I need to do. It's been working really well to use these two planners in tandem in that way. So I'm happy with that too. So anyway, the lawnmower continues. So I'm going to stop here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new here. And as always, my friends, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you in my next video.